I kind of think what people want to know when they say like, what's the timeline to AGI is like, when is the world going to be super different? When is the rate of change going to get super high? When is the way the economy works going to be really different? Like, when does my life change? Sam Altman is currently one of the most influential figures in the AI world. And whenever he speaks, be it in interviews, tweets, or conference notes, AI enthusiasts and experts hang on every word, eager to decode and derive insights about what is actually going on in the AI landscape. Recently, Altman gave an intriguing interview at Stanford University, diving into the latest AI developments, including the monumental $100 billion project Stargate. Altman also discussed the economic and societal impacts of AI, the current state versus the anticipated advancements, and the race towards artificial general intelligence, or AGI. In this video, we'll go beyond just unpacking what Sam Altman said. We'll uncover the subtleties and what he didn't explicitly mention, especially focusing on the challenges and struggles OpenAI is facing in advancing AI technology. Be sure to watch until the end, as we reveal Altman's predictions for AGI and what the future holds beyond 2030. Join us as we dissect Altman's interview to better understand where AI is headed and how it's shaping our future. So in his recent talk at Stanford University, Sam Altman tried to motivate the massive investment of $100 billion to build Project Stargate. Altman referred to this project as the cornerstone of OpenAI's strategy to shape the future landscape of artificial intelligence. For those of you unfamiliar with this project, OpenAI claims that Project Stargate represents a comprehensive plan to create the infrastructure necessary for the next leaps in AI advancement. So in his interview, Altman emphasized the critical need for developing AI systems that possess intelligence surpassing that of typical PhD-level researchers. This level of cognitive capability in AI is not just a goal, but a necessity if these systems are to address and solve complex global issues that are beyond the current human computational capacity. According to Altman, achieving such advanced intelligence will enable AI to contribute meaningfully across various sectors, including environmental science, medicine, and economics, potentially leading to groundbreaking solutions. Furthermore, Altman pointed out the multifaceted nature of the infrastructure required for these advancements. He stressed that it's not just about software and algorithms. The physical components like energy resources, data centers, and innovative chip designs are equally crucial. These elements need to be cutting edge, scalable, and sustainable to support the immense processing power AI systems require. Altman also stressed that at this point, we need to adopt a strategic approach to AI development. This encompasses not only the technical specifications, but also the ethical considerations and societal implications of deploying AI at large scale. Ensuring that AI development is aligned with human values and societal needs is fundamental, as these technologies become increasingly embedded in everyday life. So Sam Altman suggested that we stand at a critical point in the evolution of artificial intelligence. We are really faced with a choice. We can either continue with incremental updates to existing AI systems, or take a bold step forward and adopt a strategic approach that aims for groundbreaking advancements in AI. With Project Stargate, OpenAI is set to lay the groundwork for future AI infrastructure that not only boosts computational efficiencies, but also ensures these advancements are integrated into society responsibly and seamlessly. Altman's vision is clear and ambitious. To create a future where AI not only augments, but significantly amplifies human capabilities, driving both technological and societal progress forward. Moving on from Project Stargate, Sam Altman also addressed the broader economic and societal impacts of AI. He highlighted the substantial costs involved in developing sophisticated AI technologies, particularly large-scale models like GPT-3 and GPT-4. These advanced models demand extensive computational resources and skilled expertise, which are inherently costly. Altman further explained that the creation of a for-profit subsidiary was driven by the need for substantial capital investment, which exceeded what donations alone could support. This move was necessary to sustain the high expense of computational power and talent required for OpenAI's cutting-edge research. Whether we burn $500 million a year or $5 billion or $50 billion a year, I don't care. I genuinely don't. As long as we can, I think, stay on a trajectory where eventually we create way more value for society than that, and as long as we can figure out a way to pay the bills, like, we're making AGI. It's going to be expensive. It's totally worth it. So, Sam Altman is advocating that OpenAI's mission is to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. And to this end, they've adopted a dual structure that combines a for-profit subsidiary with its non-profit mission. 
This enables OpenAI to raise necessary capital while staying true to its nonprofit goals. Altman went on to emphasize the importance of creating value for society, even if it means substantial expenses. He further stressed that the core of OpenAI's research lies in the development of artificial general intelligence, which OpenAI, on its website, defines AGI as a highly autonomous system that outperforms humans at most economically valuable work. Altman stated that ChatGPT is one example of OpenAI's movement towards AGI. However, his remarks about ChatGPT were very surprising. This is what he said. That's nice of you to say, but ChatGPT is not phenomenal. Like, ChatGPT is mildly embarrassing at best. GPT-4 is the dumbest model any of you will ever, ever have to use again by a lot. But, you know, it's like important to ship early and often, and we believe in iterative deployment. So Altman's recent comments about ChatGPT and GPT-4 serve a dual purpose. First, his straightforward critique of ChatGPT is mildly embarrassing at best, and his characterization of GPT-4 as the dumbest model any of us will ever have to use again act as an honest self-assessment. This openness is likely intended to motivate the team at OpenAI to accelerate the development of more advanced models. Second, by openly acknowledging the current limitations of these models, Altman aims to set the stage for the public to understand and accept the significant investments being made in AI. He underscores that these investments are expected to yield substantial improvements in future AI technologies. To achieve these advancements, Altman pushes for a strategy of rapid, iterative deployment, which he believes is crucial for refining AI technologies and fulfilling the growing expectations around them. So basically, what Altman is trying to tell us here is that it's okay to see these wild errors that we currently see with ChatGPT and similar models for the time being. And although an iterative deployment strategy may not be the best one out there, it has provided valuable lessons about AI development at OpenAI. Altman explains that this approach allows for the incremental release of advancements, which may not always produce dramatic differences, but help in understanding the necessary steps to enhance AI models. This method could lead to nonlinear progress in AI capabilities, where significant breakthroughs can suddenly occur following periods of gradual improvement. Furthermore, Altman highlights a critical challenge of this iterative strategy, aligning AI development with subjective ethics and values. As AI systems grow more sophisticated, their deployment and use will necessitate broad-based participation and consensus. This is essential because the unpredictable impacts of AI call for responsible development and global cooperation. So balancing technical progress with ethical considerations is crucial to ensure that AI technologies are developed and applied in a manner that aligns with societal values and norms. Finally, Altman gave his insights on the future of artificial general intelligence, or AGI, and its potential impact on society. He envisions AGI as a transformative force that will redefine our world. By 2030, Altman predicts AGI will perform complex tasks with unprecedented efficiency. We're talking here about AI systems analyzing vast amounts of data, recognizing patterns, and making discoveries that elude human researchers. This surge in scientific advancements could reshape industries such as healthcare, management, finance, and even sports. These advancements can really lead to breakthroughs we can't yet dream of. However, Altman acknowledges that AGI's influence on economic activities will be profound. As AGI integrates into our lives, it will create new opportunities while disrupting existing norms. And despite AGI's potential, Altman offers a balanced perspective. He compares AGI's impact to that of electricity, a utility we now take for granted. Outwardly, life may appear unchanged, but beneath the surface, AGI will quietly enhance our existence. Picture a world where conversations with AI models become seamless and streamlined. Two-way voice interactions that feel real-time. As these models learn more about us, they'll accomplish tasks on our behalf, simplifying our lives. Altman's vision extends beyond flashy interfaces. It's about the subtle integration of intelligence into everyday experiences. While AGI won't necessarily disrupt our routines, it will quietly enhance them, much like electricity powers our devices imperceptibly. The challenge lies in ensuring that this enhancement benefits all of humanity. Furthermore, Altman highlighted the ethical challenges and potential dangers associated with AGI, emphasizing both its transformative promise and inherent risks. He pointed out the existential risks that AGI might pose, underscoring scenarios where the emergence of superintelligent systems could potentially threaten human civilization or drastically impair our developmental trajectory. These existential considerations are critical and require rigorous attention and preemptive measures to ensure they never materialize.
In addition to severe scenarios, Altman also noted more subtle yet significant risks. AGI could, for example, deepen social inequalities, disrupt job markets more drastically than previous technological advancements, or undermine personal privacy and security. Each of these issues represents a facet of AGI's potential impact that could ripple through society with profound and possibly unforeseen consequences. To navigate these waters safely, Altman emphasizes the ethical obligations we hold, not just to current stakeholders, but to future generations. The development of AGI must be pursued with a responsible approach, ensuring that it benefits all of humanity rather than a privileged few. This involves a proactive dialogue among developers, policymakers, and the global community to steer the course of AGI towards outcomes that uplift and safeguard societal welfare comprehensively. Well, this concludes our discussion and comments about Sam Altman's latest interview. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more AI breakthroughs.